welcome back to DIY Golf Car Garage. Today we're going to be working on a 1992 Club Car DS. It's a gas model and what we're going to be doing is doing an extreme tune-up. We're going to replace all the filters, belts, spark plugs. We're going to replace the gas fuel lines. We're going to change oil and get this thing to where it run great. So let's go ahead and get started by changing the oil first. Okay, to drain the oil, the first thing we're going to do is get our 9 sixteenths uh, wrench and reach down here right in front of the engine uh, there's an opening in the pan on the underside we'll actually reach up above inside this hole to this drain plug now we got the oil changed filters back on added one quart of oil and then slowly added the second quart till it got just to the right point so now what we're going to do is change out the spark plug now what we want to do, I've got a brand new spark plug here and my gauge. We want to put the gauge inside the gap and make sure that we're running 28 to 30 thousandths. And this comes perfect. It's absolutely perfect. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and take the old one out and install the new one. Okay, I've got the spark plug in. I've set it all the way down. And what you want to do is make sure you don't over tighten it. You tighten it down, you'll feel it when it bottoms out to where the pressure ring is. You go maybe another half round, you can feel it uh, seat better, then you're good to go. Put the spark plug cap back on. Okay, now let's get over there and put us in a new air filter. Okay, now we've got the air filter box, and it sure does make things a lot easier when there's no body. But we can do this so you can see it. What we'll do is get on the box, take these turn pins, and just open her up and replace it with a brand new one. Make sure you hook it in the bottom. Close it. Then get your set pins and be sure to pick the one that you drop on the floor. And now it's time for the fuel filters. We're going to replace the fuel filters and go ahead and replace these old worn out hoses. So what we want to do is when we cut the new hose, we want to make sure that we cut it at a good length so that the hoses don't bind anywhere and we can still tuck them away good and everything looks good and nice and neat. And we've got some new clamps to put on it. So let's get started taking this apart. Okay, now that we've got the fuel line fully installed, one thing that I always like to do is go ahead and do it with the writing up. In case you ever forget what size hose you have, it'll be uh, up next to it. I always try to get the clamps uniform so that it's easier to get to next time you get it. And always make sure that you've got a good seal everywhere we go. Now that we've got these done, let's get these belts changed, the drive belt and the starter generator belt. Okay, next what we're going to be doing is replacing the drive belt and the starter generator belt. Now to get this drive belt off, all you do is pick it up, put it on top, 
and just roll it over. It comes off that easy every time. Now the starter generator belt, it's a little bit more tricky. You have to loosen all the bolts, up, the two up front, which are 9 16 and loosen the adjustment bolt here, which is a half inch. So let's get these things loosened up. Now to put them on, let's just reverse the order. Now to get this up where you need it, just get you a screwdriver or something just to prime the starter generator so we can bring it up. And once we get it in the right position, tension good, let's tighten her down. belts are that easy. Now that we got the belts changed, last thing we're going to do on this tune-up is go ahead and we're going to check the valves, see if they need adjusting. Now what we're going to do is take this valve cover off here, two bolts holding it on, okay here's our valves. Okay what we want to do is get our valve gauge here. Let's get it at four thousandths. Turn your engine till it gets to top dead center. Both valves are up. And check. Make sure your clearance is good and smooth. What you're wanting to do is make sure you can get it in there and it moves back and forth. But you feel it pull just a little snug. These are perfect. If I had wanted to adjust them I just loosen the nut, tighten down on the center portion, hold it, tighten the nut up, then check it again with my gauge till the four thousandths fit perfect. Okay, we've got that done. Let's tighten it back up. Well, now we've got the total tune-up job done. We went to a little bit of extreme setting the valves and a couple other little things. But the car runs good, runs smooth, so we're real satisfied with that. Be sure to like us, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to DIY Golf Car Garage.